Yo, it's actually working. Yo, what up everyone, it's StratusRatube and welcome back to the Pokemon Sun Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Look at where we are guys, we are at the Verdant Cavern area. We just fought the Totem Pokemon. That is, that is the most insane thing ever, man. If When you take on the first trial, it's already that high leveled. I don't know how they're not going to go past level 100 in this game halfway through. But okay, what's going to happen is, the second we exit this area here, you can't encounter here, right? Because I would love to encounter here, it would be more leveled, right? The second we exit this area and we have to go back there, Pokemon are going to start attacking us. And this is going to be our first encounter for the Verdant Cavern. But we got to look at our team, dude. Oh, man, fully healed up. I guess Illima healed him. Oh, yeah, he tried to fasten him in Great Balls. But yeah, Jojo, MVP Jojo. Everyone's got a freaking <laughs> high five Jojo, dude. He's got guts as his ability. He was a grass type holding charcoal. And he manhandled two Tapu Pokemon. But okay, the big thing is when we exit this area, guys, we have to find a Pokemon. This is the Ver Verdant Cavern Totem's Den. I mean, Verdant Cavern. That's the Totem's Den. So the second we go to this place, oh my goodness. Dude, I have not gotten an encounter in so long. What was my last encounter that I used? Jojo! No, it's not Jojo. It was Crystal Onyx. Fine. A trial guy. Give me some hints. Tell me where to go. You can hear the rustling. You're not talking to me? Oh, you just turned and looked at me. Sorry, dude. Illuma didn't shower today. So the second he got near, I had to run. Hope I didn't get you caught. You almost did, dude. But he thought I beat his Metapod. Which, for the better, we'll just let him believe. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Okay, I don't that's that's good. That's good. Rhydon's a beautiful Pokemon. Hey Dude, not bad. Dude, you I've never noticed your ears. Why are they so like? Weird not his not these ears up here. He's got like a second pair of ears Jojo Do you want the highlight again? If you show Jojo one more time, I swear show me the Rhydon. Here's Jojo <laughs> There look what are those ears? It's like I don't know, but Rhydon's a sick Pokemon, dude. Rhydon apparently was the first Pokemon designed. So every bit of creativity the freaking creators of Pokemon had in their first minute of bringing Pokemon to light, everything went into Rhydon. So that's pretty good. I like you, Rhydon. So level 10. You know, I could Sky Drop. You're, you're so... Oh my goodness. He can take a Sky Drop, right? Let me just Aqua Ring. Like, just look at his horn, dude. Darkest Lariat? I was about to- what the hell? Whoa! Whoa, he's going ham! I was gonna talk about the- the horn. Horn Joe perfectly fits right on. They gotta make him have like a Z move, where the prerequisite is horn drill. And it's just always like one hit KOs or something, man. One hit KO moves has to be the biggest potential they just left in Pokemon. Okay, let's get to this. So, oh yeah, man. One mistake I made with that Greninja is I had level balls. And I didn't throw these. I don't care if they look ugly, dude. We need to catch this right on. I can see this thing on the team. On the layout. Yo, this is going in. It's got like a... I was gonna say it had like a four times catch rate when you use level balls. I like Switch. See, this is what I set up the Aqua Ring for. You can't get through the mighty JoJo's defense. Now, man, I do... Like, they do have the original catch rates. Like, you guys said the Greninja had like a catch rate of like 30 or something. So that's why it was so hard to catch. You can do it. There you go. There you go. It's your favorite symbol. You better get used to it. This is the Pokeball you're coming at it for the rest of your life. Is there a water park in there, dude? Dude, that is a good encounter. Oh, he doesn't have a Pokedex entry. What do you nickname a Rhydon? Dude, Rhydon's got to be like a personal favorite of Pokemon's staff in general. Remember the episode where Rhydon's just surfing? Like, these guys just had fun <laughs> with this Pokemon. You know, speaking of Rhydon, dude, freaking Team Rocket just got confirmed for Ultra Sun and Moon. I want to see Rhydon make a return. I want Giovanni to pop up with a Rhyperior. Let's think of a good theme here. All right, what's the first thing that comes to my head? Freaking Rico. There you go. I could have done the RH, but I didn't. Dude, this is so sick. I like this encounter. Like, the Pokemon staff, I swear they had so much fun with Rhyhorn. Rhydon, I got to see what else you can find. Come on, come on. Oh, there's a Rustly. I should have checked what the Rustling has. Come on. Oh my god, a pet. They were trying to give me a bad encounter. They were trying so hard. I do I can't train. If you give me that, I would just be demotivated for the whole episode. Do you remember? You gotta see my face. When I was editing the episode I caught JoJo, I was legitimately sad. I was thinking it wasn't even gonna be entertaining because I was so sad. But it turned out to work. Okay, Rico, you're holding something. 
Old Amber? My dude, that's for freaking Aerodactyl. What year did you... Storm... Dude, is that actually... Dude, he has no water weakness. Draws in all water moves, boosts his special attack. It's like his own lightning rod. Dude. Wow. What does ally switch? Teleports with, with allies. He's got helping hand and bulk up. This is perfect. Bulk up and darkest lariat. The two best moves. Look at his nature. You are kidding with me. I see the, the special attack blue and the attack red. That is insane. Yo, Rico. With the old amber. What type of catch is this? Yo, I want to take the old amber, but I don't know if I can give it back to you. Isn't that a key item? Yo, I take it. Yo, he, he wants to give me an Aerodactyl. Or maybe he used to fly 10 million years ago on an Aerodactyl and he died. So he got the fossil. Where is it? A piece of amber that still contains the genetic material of an ancient Pokemon. It's clear with the tawny reddish tin. Oh, look at that. It's literally like a fossil. This is the kind of description you should have for a fossil that revives Mew. That would have been so cool, dude. That's kind of how they did it anyway. Look, there's all these rustlings everywhere. They kind of made it so you go to a Mew fossil and then you resurrect Mew 2 from it using human cells. What else? You're making me feel good with that pet lil. That's not bad. That's not bad. Slowbro's fine. You know, though, when you look at Slowbro sometimes, you feel like he has another evolution but hasn't gotten it yet. Like, I swear every one of you probably believed that Slowbro evolves into Slow King until you freaking did it for yourself and realized you just got to give Slowpoke freaking King's Rock. Or just put him in the water, heads in, like a, like a swirly, you know? Bullies do that all the time. Kukui, you would know. If a Pokemon fights me on the bridge, I'm dead. It's gonna break. What is it? Dude, I can't believe it. That Rhydon is rare. That Rhydon, dude, we just used all our luck up on that encounter. We're not gonna get anything good for a long time now. Hey, a Stunky. You kind of look shiny when you're so purple, but you're not. I'd like you to meet Jojo. You know what, Stunky, just because... I'm a sky drop you. You can say yourself goodbye. You know what? Now I kind of appreciate that moves like Horn Joe can't kill higher level Pokemon because this Stunky would definitely just coincidentally have Horn Joe and kill Jojo. Oh, Noctowl. That's pretty cool. He kind of fits the cave theme. This is the first normal Pokemon we found in a Verdant Cavern. Come on. Come on. Almost. Who is it? Oh my god, it's a. It's God, man. It looks like a coughing almost. Like a coughing that didn't go bad. Look at it. It's a nasty Swirlix. I'm sky dropping you too. Look at this, man. I get freaking 20 experience for killing these. It's like it's impossible to level up once once you freaking fight all the trainers. Which is why it's good we left some trainers because we can really do what we needed to in this episode. Come on. Who is it? Who's knocking on the door? Without He came in without even a hey, slow bro. You're pretty cool. Let me fire lash you. Let me see just how you take this. What you gonna do? Oh, you survived. Pretty good. What you gonna hit me back with? Oh my god! What are you staring down the face of the cave for, Ilima? I need my space. Goodness. I don't want to hear about you right now. Look, you comb your hair. Greetings. Who am I? I don't know who you are. I am Space Ilima. Oh, that's what you are. Taking on trials takes incredible spirit. That's why a mere 5% of the region are actually even qualified to enter. The Pokemon are more dangerous in trials. And as I've said before, there are no laws once you enter in. That's why, as you travel around the islands, you will find captain's barricades here and there. These barricades, it takes impossible feats to cross one. A trainer can never, ever cross them. Not even with the highest power levels. It's like we're trapped in a game. I'm not gonna tell them. That is why you must have your techniques, Bobby. You there. I've got a wet one coming. Open the barricade or I let loose. <laughs> He's like, say no more. He didn't even turn. He just quickly opened it. Dude. Do you have to deal with this on a daily basis? Voila. There are just some things only the Ginyu Force can teach you. Your world just got a little bigger. You're welcome. I am the final captain here on Mele Mele Island. Meaning you have just completed all of the Mele Mele Island trials. And now that I've shown you my power, you are free to cross over the gate of Ilima. Why is everything named something Ilima? Oh, hey, Kukui, this is- Oh my goodness, here we go. Here's the real dialogue, dude. Kukui. Hey there, bully. <laughs> I jumped over this gate earlier, and now it's open. Ooh, and Ilima's making that face again. 
It looks like somebody got their Metapod beat. <laughs> Did you now, Ilama? I've taught you well. Congrats on clearing the trial. Oh, I see. You didn't. Don't go too hard on him now, Ilama. It all comes with practice. I guess nobody can beat your Metapod on their first try. I know that best. It took me forever to get the hang of it. But don't worry, my disciple. I can teach you how to finish him off with one blow. That's right. Even after it's hardened six times. <laughs> what is this? Stop it. Now listen carefully, bully. This is a technique using the Z-Ring. Only to those who are worthy. So I don't have one. So give me yours, Ilama. Uh, unhand me. Get your hands off me, you buff boy. These special Ginyu Force moves are not for everyone. It takes years of practice. Come on, can't you see I'm in the middle of an explanation, bully? Wow, he doesn't explain it. Also, man, Ilama, what do you mean? Why you gotta talk to him like that? You don't sound like you don't like it. And here I thought we were besties. I don't need your ring anyway, Ilama. <laughs> I stole Hala's ring already. Watch and learn, my disciple. My god, Kukui. Such a freaking nut. What is he gonna find? And what is he gonna call it this time? Oh, a Growlithe. What a little... You know, speaking of Growlithe... The freaking Steelix! They want my Steelix for Growlithe, dude. I don't know what to do about that. You can use Z-Power. Yeah, yeah, push this... Push it. Freaking Z-Leer? What, what is... Look at this. He's also joining the Ginyu Force. Goodness, man. I'm just thinking of everyone. Mo Lane, Ilima, Kukui, like... Freaking Guzma too, who knows? They're all nuts. Like who the hell knows what the hell is gonna happen in this game? Oh, I've seen this move before. I got trumped by it. Don't you touch that Growlithe. Why would you showcase me a video of you killing Growlithe? You call me a bully? That was a bully of you. Ilma's just jealous. He hates when people finish him off with one blow. He tries to prolong his sessions. But phew, Z-Powers heap all of a trainer's feelings onto a Pokemon, yeah. Which totally wears you out. Using Z-Power once per battle is all a team can handle, yeah. Well, maybe accept your Metapod. Ah, of course. Breakneck Blitz is a simple matter for it. Thamel was simply no match for it. Hey, I'm still hurt, Ilima. <laughs> Don't you shove that to the side, Ilima. I'm hurt. But your Harden is no match for my Amnesia, Ilima. That's fact. I mean, Harden boosts defense. Amnesia boosts special defense. I guess they compete. Speaking of which, where is Lily? We were walking towards the farm to get those groceries, and suddenly I'm here. Hmm, Lily. Where would we find Lily? Aha! There's tons of Lily in the flower garden. <laughs> He's already beginning. I'll leave it to you, my disciple. We'll find her in no time. I can go and stink up the cave for you in case she wandered that way. That'll get her out. Thanks for the warning, bestie. I'll get as far away as possible. Oh my goodness, the second I thought the conversation was getting normal, oh my goodness. He talks about finding Lily in freaking a flower garden. Are you still thinking? Alright guys, so there's a bunch of things we gotta talk about. So, yeah, well, look at our team though, like we actually have a really nice team going. I thought our team was too small, but now we got five members. Rico, dude, this freaking Rhydon is gonna go so far. I mean, look at this, when you put these two side by side, kinda looks like I got too many rock types, but Shimmy is not a rock type. But Shimmy's actually going to be one of the highlights of this episode because we got to go to the Mart and we got to freaking get a Metal Coat for this guy because time is running out and we need to turn him into a Steelix. That was the big thing you guys were saying, so here, let's check it out. Oh, shoot. Would you look at that? That's the Seal of Illima. You beat his Metapod, didn't you? I did not touch his Metapod. Congratulations. Now it's time to switch things up. So, you can say bye-bye to those old items. What a rude ass. Would you just tell me welcome to the Pokemon? May I help you? Wow! You didn't have to put it in such a rude way. Hold on, hold on. It's a full restore instead of a max potion. Now I'm getting even more scammed. Hold on, okay, full restore, scope lens, boost critical ratio. Shell Bell. Shell Bell restores like 1 16th of the damage you do. That's really good. Manectite. I'm not ever gonna buy these Mega Stones. Guard Chomp I, I mean, it would suck if I actually got, like, if it, what if it's at Steel Excite? I would be like, god damn it, now I have to buy it. Miracle Seed, a thousand bucks to boost grass moves? What did I say? Miracle Seed, black glasses to boost dark moves. What the hell does a dragon scale do? Why is it more expensive than this? Yo, Ether! Yo, I needed these Ethers. Should I just buy one? 
A macho brace. A macho brace is like all the power items put together. Instead of you specifically training one of them, it just, I think, boosts the EVs you get from battle, which can be really good because you miss out on a lot of EVs until you get to like level 60 or 70, until you kill enough Pokemon. And the amulet coin. God, that is an investment. Yo, I gotta get the amulet coin. If I get the amulet coin, in the long run, I can freaking do the right thing. Yo, this may be what we have to do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the amulet coin. We're gonna put it on whatever Pokemon's gonna be beating up trainers. We're gonna go catching some Pokemon. And once I get enough money, I can buy the metal coat. Because the metal coat, I don't think you just use it on Onyx. I think it has to hold it and like level up with it. That's how I remember from the other extreme randomizer. Apparently to like make Rhydon a Rhyperior. Oh, you just need to have it hold the protector and level up. So let's hope that's the way it works because if that's not the way it works, then I'm wasting 10,000 on a metal coat. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the amulet coin you need to get. That, like, the freaking mega ring? You're never gonna buy the mega ring. The amulet coin, dude. Why, you, what are you doing in the bottom right corner of my screen? Dude, so who's gonna be the one to beat trainers up? Come on, someone raise your hand. Yo, Rico, I would love for Rico to do it. You know, Kanga Jr. But no, you need the mother's bone. You're weak without your mother's bone. You know, that's kind of symbolic. If it takes it off, it's actually a weak-ass Pokemon. Shimmy, you know what? Scar. You're still holding the Reaper Cloth to do? Take that off. I wonder if the Reaper Cloth has any significance. It's loved by certain Pokemon. What about you, dude? Please don't tell me you also... Okay. 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 It's all still here. It's only the left guy. Thank God you guys are right about that. So I can still get the Leaf Stone from here. I can get the Metal Coat. Everything is fine. Let's hope we can get enough uh, freaking money this episode to actually do that. And then there's the freaking girl who wants a Steelix. You're not getting a Steelix. Alright? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna deposit my other members so that it's only Rhydon and Onyx that are gonna be getting the experience. Oh my goodness! I feel so bad, Jojo! <laughs> it's like first generation Jojo. He's like an old head now. Go in the box, and you go in the box. Listen, you two. There's bigger things we gotta deal with. Look at my layout. It feels so empty. What happened to it? Alright, let's go take on those trainers. We can actually head up there also and catch another new Pokemon. God damn it, man. No, 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 no. We're gonna fight these trainers first, man. This is exper- Hello, kindergartner. This is experience we really need. What you're doing? You didn't see me? Wee, oui, wee, oui, it's a battle, a battle. It is a battle. I'm so glad you're excited. Now, don't freak me out with some preschooler Malia. Don't freak me out with some overpowered Pokemon. Ball toy. It's always some random ass weak Pokemon that turn out to be shiny. Level 19. Hey, I like that. You know, man, I could actually... Yo, it looks so fake. It looks so weird, the blue. Whatever the hell, man. With level 19, maybe, um... Maybe the Rhydon can level up enough to fight his own battle soon. And then I can give him the amulet coin. Listen, Malia, just give me enough money, alright? I'm saving up for something big. For a second, I thought the Ponyard was shiny, too. Where do you guys get your Pokemon from? Jeez. Maybe secretly, the people who have shinies are from trainer school. Maybe if you talk to them, they'll tell you. I'm running through the game like it's not an extreme randomizer. Good work, Rico. Why? I lost. You are so happy about losing. That's good. Be optimistic. Hey, trainer. What's throw a ball with the Y button mean? What's it mean? <laughs> Yo, freaking Ilimo was just talking about these people not knowing they're trapped in a game. I think that should be the biggest hint. Oh, oh, dude, that freaking rustling grass. Man, they gotta do something big with rustling grass in future games, dude. A revive? We still don't know how we're dealing with revives yet. We gotta, like, actually deal with tough battles to determine it. But, dude, we actually have a good amount of revives. Not too many, though, because you can't even buy them. You jumped off that ledge, didn't you? Haha, <laughs> gotcha. But what if I fought you directly? Can I fight you directly? Goodness, he played peekaboo with me. Look how small that Pokeball is. It looks so freaking handy. It reminds you of like, remember in the beginning? I don't know if they do it anymore, but in like the beginning, you push the button and the Pokeball grows. So it's like little tiny Pokeballs. It's actually cool. Level 19 Slugma, dude. Now, after you take on that trial, these guys are so weak. I was actually the same level as these guys. Like I was in line to dealing with this type of level. And now I'm way higher. Tyrantrum. Now you gotta make me scared. Jeez! How did you get that? And why are you bigger than it? 
That's not a real dinosaur. Let me force palm. Oh my god, it took it. Good work, Dragon Dance. You're not going to be faster than me. I would hope so, because I want to see what moveset you have. You know, I'll give you a chance. I might miss this Ice Hammer, so let me see. I didn't miss. If I really wanted to give you a chance, I could have just King Shielded. But hey, give me the good experience. That is beautiful. Good work, Rico. School, just like back in the day. You know what's cool, dude? If I could actually get a protector, I could make this guy a level 13 Rhyperior. I could turn him into a Rhyperior right away. Okay, you know, let's just see what this is. What you doing? What is it? Come on. Oh, a Surviper. That's pretty cool. Freaking Surviper just planted in there in this game. Look at it. It kind of reminds you of the Battle Pike, I think it was. Come on, let me through. Do you not see me standing here? Do you not see me standing here? Come on. You don't see me? There you go. Aha! Found you! I'm gonna pose for a photo. Tell me how it looks. What? I don't get it. <laughs> Is that the photo? I'm gonna pose for a photo. It just freaking gives me a pose. Okay, I was gonna freaking think it was a shiny scroll for a second. Freaking 19. That's nothing, dude. Get out of here. Oh my god! What are you doing teaching your Pokemon that? Freaking Hyperspace Fury. Thank god only Hoopa can use it. Not even normal Hoopa, has to be unbound. Can you stop with the GUI? A Flygon? Yo, that is cool. Look, even Scar is gonna level up from this. A beautiful Flygon, level 20. Where did you guys find this from? I'm sorry, dude. That four times weakness has got you down. Dude, freaking Flygon needs a Mega Evolution. Viper needs a freaking evolution. So much they could do, dude. Level 31, you gonna, you gonna learn something? No. Rico, you're slowly making it. Entrainment. So what, you wanna give other people Storm Drain? Dude, that's not gonna work out. I mean, maybe... Oh my god, dude. He has Helping Hand and Ally Switch. As if he's gonna be in double battles. What about this one? What's this girl on? What is wrong with you? I'm a model. I work at the Tourist Bureau. Come visit, won't you? Oh my goodness. We all know about the Tourist Bureau. We freaking know everything about it. I'm off. Oh, dude, that's it? Those are the only trainers? Okay, so freaking Shimmy is halfway to level 42. All we got to do is somehow get 2,000 more experience and give him a metal coat and we're good. How's our money situation? I've never gone to the trainer passport. Yo, look at that. 7,400. We got like $3,000 while we would have gotten freaking like $1,500. We're doing it, dude. We're making our way. Oh, another trainer. I almost forgot about you. Do you watch anime? Don't they feel so real sometimes? Sometimes I feel like I'm in an anime. What's with people not being able to realize they're trapped in some sort of game in this episode? Las Isabella. Chingling. Is it a... Okay, it's not. I gotta stop expecting shinies now. Dude, it's actually got a freaking, like, ball in its mouth. Shut up, Ilama. Like, but look, it's like a bell, like an actual bell. Just for that, Ilama, I'm using thunder. You see, man, the second Ilama enters your head, he never leaves. He's always just in the back of your head telling you advice. Telling you just how to interpret things. Come on, Chingling, get out of here. Another one, Rico. Ariados. Yo, I want Rico to take this on, man. Can he do it? Darkest Lariat? Nah, he can't do it. He's also four times weak to grass. So I guess... It doesn't balance it out because he's freaking immune to water. What? Okay. You've, you've got a real big problem when it comes to fire attacks. I'm just going to use thunder. Okay. Acid armor. Oh, God. Dude, you squished yourself. Well, I'm going to thunder again. You're not getting lucky this time. This is going to hurt. A desolate land thunder. I mean, if this was actually primordial sea, that would be the actual freaking help to thunder because it would never miss. All right, it's just real life. She really thinks it's real life. Imagine that. What if right now you're in a game and you can't tell? You think it's different. Life is so mundane. I wish I was living in an anime. Though, would I know if I was or would I still complain? You would definitely still complain. Look at that. We got another 1500 from that battle. This amulet coin was the right investment. Dude, do we have to go up there? I think we have to go up there. You got anything to say? Trainers who take part in the island challenge and its trials get to see their whole world grow. Sorry about letting Ilima through, by the way. But apparently he thought you knocked out his totem metapod. 
Well, works for both of us. Dude, I hope he pops up in future trials. I want to see more dialogue from him. Route 3. The last time I felt like this, it was when there's a crystal onyx loose. A foot, I mean. Hey, you're not a trainer. Careful. I happened to pass under a moving shadow, and I thought I'd get attacked by a wild bird. Pokemon. But it pooped on me! I'm not going hiking anymore! You got pooped on by this thing? Okay, hold on. If I go to one of those, I have to catch it. Oh my god, it's an ace. I mean, I guess I want to fight the dude, but come on, how about you see me? He sees me, he tosses his balls up, he's gonna walk away. He's- you idiot with freaking 120 sight vision. Look at me. Look at me! Idiot! Have you met my cousin, the boogeyman? Guess what? I'm the boogeyman too. I freaking remember the freaking cousin that- the dude who says he's the boogeyman. That was like in episode 2. Rising star Ian. Okay, Ian, what you got for me? The Dene, is it? Okay, I gotta stop. There's not gonna be a shiny Pokemon until I least expect it. Until I forget about it. Oh, dude, 28! These are the real battles again! Okay, I gotta- I gotta use strategy again, because this thing could kill you if it uses just a super effective attack. Let's just King Shield and make sure it's not trying to kill us. How? That's a stab move! I mean, it's not gonna do much. Or maybe it will. Like, I'm- I'm electric, yeah, but freaking Zab Cannon? Dude, this, I have fought a Slack King, okay? It was level 30, what, 6? It used Flame... Where did you get your moveset from? It used Flamethrower, did like half to me. It's a freaking Scar, and he's a Fire type. Like, that's crazy. Hey! Let's see if you can survive now. Oh my goodness, you are a genius for that. Yo, you're pissing me off. How about I thunder you? Oh my god, it's so... I... Like, wh your Meteor Mashes are nothing, dude. Dude, man, if you look at Dedene, it freaking looks like a little Pikachu. I'm telling you, somewhere in like freaking deep, deep history, all of the freaking Pikachu lookalikes are freaking the same Pokemon. Freaking Minum, Plusle. I don't think Pachirisu, though, because what the hell is Pachirisu? Maybe Pachirisu pairs with the Moga and crap. Hey, good work, Rico. Porygon 2. You know, I'll stay in on that. Dude, Porygon 2 is so cool. Look at this thing. It's so smooth and everything. It's like the perfect way to evolve Porygon. Okay. You know, let's just King Shield, dude. It's way too high leveled. And then you get Porygon Z where it like flips its freaking tail with its head. Harden. That's actually a problem. How much... I mean, Force Pump does like nothing now. I'm just gonna use Thunder. Like, yeah, I could... Hammer Arm. Come on. Wow, that's so much. That's not a normal move. That's a fighting move. You didn't even get stabbed. How did it do that much? Please paralyze the thing. Please paralyze the thing. Stamina. You boosted your- Wow! Look at this guy. He's really been boosting that defense. Come use that hammer arm again. I dare you. This guy's trying to kill me! I don't care! Shimmy's taking- Yo! That would kill me! A stab techno blast. Wow, man. All I did was go from Route 2 to Route 3 and already... I forgot you're four times weak to this. This is insanity, dude. Just freaking sing him a song or just Diamond Storm. It'll be fine. Oh, huh. Shimmy's faster for once. It's because you hammer arm too much. Goodness, dude. Yeah, probably wouldn't have killed if it wasn't a crit. Okay, that's some good experience. Oh, that's good experience for freaking Rico. Look at that, he's almost level 20. Aw, oh, man, you got me. Yo, I think we got enough to buy the metal coat. We got freaking almost 3,000 from that battle. How did you know? I'm just Ian from trainer school. Not the boogeyman at all. Freaking deja vu, dude. Someone said- It's the boogeyman who said that before. Check it out, guys. We're gonna head right into the store, and I think we've got enough money to buy the metal coat. I'm so glad I freaking bought that amulet coin, dude. Te I have 11,000. I'm gonna make so much money now. Buy it. Okay, yes, I can afford it. You know, worst case scenario, I could sell the amulet coin for 5,000. Listen, dude, you keep thinking, I'll be back later to buy more things. So here, let's put the metal coat on Crystal Onyx. Shimmy's holding a quick lot. You've never even used it yet. I've never seen the sparkle, and you're going first. Let's see how much more experience he needs. Freaking 1,800 more experience? I feel like Rico might be stealing some of your experience. Should I put you in the front instead? But if I put you in the front, then I don't get the money. God damn it, what a dilemma. Where's the other trainers? 
Where's the other trainers? You! Hey! Hey! Oh my goodness, why do you do that? Do you know what happens when I'm upset? I take a walk outside. Guess what I'm doing right now? Well, goodness! Rising star Tatiana. Good name. What you got? Poliwhirl. Hey, dude, that looks great. Now the real question is what level is it? Level 27, what desolate land again? Here we go. Yo, dude. Oh man, but it's a water type. Let's just see, okay? I gotta switch out anyway, but let's just see. What are you trying to kill me with this time? I mean, no, you can't use a water move. Should I just- No, I'm not gonna, man. Do I have to beat the trainer with the amulet coin Pokemon? Or does it just have to be a part of the battle? Because, like... Dude, I'm not gonna- I need to evolve the shimmy. That's a fighting move! How do you guys keep predicting me? Just take the diamond- Oh my god, that- You're, what, water fighting? So every move I use is not very effective. This is gonna be a long battle. Don't stall this battle out, do enough. Okay, I don't think it's a fighting type yet. Okay, it has to evolve into, uh, Polyrath in order to become a fighting type. Come on, let's just see what you can do. Hey, that's pretty good. You had a good sound effect to go with the two. Come on, come on! Oh my god. It's gonna pedal dance again. It's gonna get a crit. Shimmy's gonna die. We're never gonna see the freaking evolution. Stop it. Dude, man. Like, a freaking like two episodes ago, Shimmy was so overpowered, I felt bad for using him. Now he's just casually one of my Pokemon. Give me freaking, like, 800. Please. Oh my god. You know how hard it's gonna be to evolve this thing? Rico, maybe it was a bad idea. You wanna learn Searing Shot? But dude, you're modest. I mean, you're adamant. You can leave him with the burn. Yo, I don't I'll just give it to him for the sake of it, but damn. Weavile. That is a Pokemon I gotta stay in in. Stay in on. I've definitely gotta stay- Level 30. You're fully evolved. You can give me the experience I need. Here we go. I'm gonna give you one of these injections, and then let's see what this Weavile can do. If it uses, like, freaking close combat, dude. Hail! Hey, I like the snow. Look, Weavile, we're both ice types. Can't we get along? Go down to one diamond storm. Wow. You try to punch a diamond. Did you learn the hard way it doesn't work? Now the diamond punches you. Wow! Is that a crit? That is insane. Oh my goodness, so close! He went from 40 to 40. What did you say? He went from 40 to 41 already, didn't he? I should have given it to him then. Look, I'm a star. A rising star. Know your place. Wow. Alright guys, man, we're so close to leveling this guy up. How about... How about we just put Shimmy in the front and just get her encounter for this area? It's always freaking... Oh my god, I'm always so nervous, man. Because I picked the wrong area. Always I picked the wrong spot. Look, look at... Oh, there's an item there. There's these bird poop spots. And then there's the actual grass. What do I do? What do I do? If one of you guys just walked into me, that'd make my life a lot easier. Even if it's the wrong choice. Oh god. You are definitely a trap. You are something disgusting. It's Everything in the front is always bad. Okay, freaking... The grass. The grass is great. The grass is plentiful. Oh, there's a Pokeball. Should I go in the grass and get the Pokeball? Oh my goodness. Don't slap me yet. I'll go. Okay, I'll get my encounter. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, someone get me. One of you guys get me. Come and get me. It got me. What is it? What the hell is it? What was that shadow that I saw? What is this? I don't want a Bruxish. God, this is so ugly. Yo, this is my encounter? Bro, it looks like Mrs. Puff. Dude. Oh my goodness. Look, I've come into Rico. Rico's level 17. Look at it. It just made a pose. If I damage this thing, will it call for help? And then can I get something else? Because I can't catch this. I don't want a Bruxish. Quick attack. Well, isn't that productive? Are you glad you did it? Please don't burn it though. Or maybe burn it so it calls for help? Is it going to burn? It didn't burn. It didn't even call for help. It's gonna get burnt by the time it calls for help. Mega kick? With what feet? Guys, man. I should have gone in the freaking patch of grass. I'm so pissed. 
I'm so pissed. Come on. It's not gonna call. This thing can burn, right? It's gonna freaking burn it. Oh yeah, you know you're getting burnt. It's quick attacking me. On the bright side, Rico's gonna level up if I kill this thing. Nah, man, it's gotta call for help. Anything but the thing, dude. Dude, do you need more time? I'm using it again. Maybe you need to be at red. Oh my... Burn it. Burn it. It would be perfect. It would die right now. Oh! Okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't freaking work. I've got to catch this ugly, ugly Bruxish. Yo, you going to heal ball. No, no, I can't do that to the heal ball, man. Look at those teeth. Yo, I'll toss a poke. Come on, man. Nah, you've got to call for help. Let me ally switch. Can you... Can you call for something? Yo, freaking a Dunsparce. I'll catch a Dunsparce. You. It's not gonna. I'll throw a Pokeball, man. I gotta catch a Bruxish. Wiggle. 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 And you're caught. This, freaking, now you're giving me a tough time. Yeah, Mega kick me. Kick me right in the face. Right in the horn. Are you an idiot? Is it gonna freaking work or what? I already decided on catching you. It called a Kingdra! I didn't know you could do that! What if my Pokeball worked? I would slap myself in the face! I want this Kingdra! I... Is this serious? You just called a Kingdra? My mind is blown! My mind is so blowing, dude! Bruxish, get the hell out of here! You've served your purpose, you and your teeth! Yo! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, I got so scared! I got so scared! Yo! Our encounter, it worked! It's a Bruxish! It's a freaking Kingdra! Oh my god, dude! Look how wide it opens its mouth, first of all. Oh, dude, that's a lot of experience. Maybe... Maybe... Yo, Shimmy, you only got 86. Yo, Shimmy, you should... Now you can call for help? Call a Bruxish! Oh, my good... Yo! No, 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 no. Okay, I wanted to call for help, and then I want Shimmy to keep killing the Pokemon that calls for help so that we can catch the Kingdra and Shimmy can level up right after the battle ends. But... It's gonna backstab me because Kingdra's gonna self-destruct. Hail. Yo, fine with me. I love the hail. I'm a Crystal Onyx. I'm an Ice type. Yo, our encounter is a Kingdra. I freaking love SOS battles. Are you trying to kill yourself? Okay. Hold on, dude. I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it two turns to call for help and then I'm catching it. Because I'm being stupid right now. And I, I deserve for this thing to blow up right now. Dragon Rage. Wow! Wow! It does as much as my level! It can't kill me because I'm a nice type with the hail. Yo, no, 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 no. I'm being stupid. I'm sorry. Everyone who's telling me to just use a Pokeball, I'm using it. I'm using a level ball for you. Dude, a freaking Kingdra! Jojo, you're giving me all the luck. Oh, you're in the PC? Too bad. You're rooting for me. We caught it. We caught it. We got a Kingdra, dude! I'm- I'm gonna put together the layout at- Oh, uh, oh, Rico! How does Rico get- How come I don't get that much experience? Yo! Yo! It's a freaking Kingdra! A female Kingdra! What do you nickname a female Kingdra? I can name it Claire, that's a pretty good name. And it's a female too, but I think that's what everyone names their Kingdra. You know what? I don't give a damn. Mystery. <laughs> This is so stupid. I don't even care, dude. Our, this is the best episode in terms of encounters. Oh my... Please. This is insane. A fr it's holding a Wheat Bear Berry? Let's see it. Water Dragon. Tough Claws? 
It had leaf storm. It has tough claws. Where are your claws? Yo, powers up moves that make direct combat, like Aqua Tail. Two good Pokemon with two good abilities. Dude, are, okay, yo, oh my goodness. Now the only thing I gotta do before this episode ends is freaking evolve the shimmy. What is your wheat pear berry? Let me see this. Yo, I can't believe it. What, I don't even know what the right thing to do was. Whether it was to go in the grass or not, dude. I freaking have a, you can't dragon hammer though. Hey, at least, oh, you can sparkling Arya. That's really good. But freaking Dragon Hammer works on Rhydon. Hold on, I gotta check the berry out. Used to make Poke Blocks. We're not in Hoenn. God. I don't even have a single Hoenn Pokemon, do I? Yo, I'm gonna teach some TMs. Finally, there's a Pokemon who can learn Dragon Hammer. It would be perfect if Kingdra could learn it, dude. It's a Dragon type. Whatever, get rid of Ally Switch, dude. You don't need it. But at least it learned Sparkling Aria. Now I have a good use for this TM. So we'll teach Sparkling Aria. It's a freaking mystery. I mean, I get, I'll get rid of Hail for now. It doesn't really work because it has Tough Claws, which makes Aqua Tail a lot stronger. But whatever, man. I'm just so happy with that encounter. That, that could not have gone... That is insane, dude. Now all I gotta do is go in the grass here. Oh, let me get that Pokeball. Let me get this Pokeball. So what would have my, been my counterpart if I went in the grass? I mean, looks are deceiving, but it's a Bond Slide. I know it could call for a freaking Groudon for all I know, but it's a Bond Slide. Shimmy, take care of it. 20 experience. You see how long it's gonna take? Yo, I'm just, I'm freaking shaking because, that's a heal ball. I'm shaking because like, in a freaking alternate reality, I'm five minutes after I already caught the Bruxish and I'm still complaining about it. Because I freaking threw a Pokeball at it. I'm so blue right now, it's like I'm underwater. But it's like, dude, I freaking, Caught the Bruxish in an alternate reality. And I got a Kingdra in this one. I don't give a damn. That t tar can lose the Nuzlocke for all I care. I'm seriously underwater. Dude, Kingdra, did you send me here? Okay, I'm gonna sit here and fight wild Pokemon until the Steelix is about to evolve because... The Helix! What are you doing here? Yo, we gotta obey. If he turns into his demigod form, we're dead. Dude, demigod helix looks so cool compared to this. And you go down. With Pico, I mean. You know, you can finally reunite. A mighty Anna. I feel like I'm in Hoenn. Can you, can you just, there you, I'm still underwater. I'm, does that hurt your eyes? Sorry. Hey, dude, look. Come on. Come on. I need some. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you do to me? It's hurt by the Jabuka Berry. I was trying to make a joke where I, I'm like underwater and can't breathe and then this thing throws a Jabuka Berry at me. You know what? Let's check out what's in the plants here. There is a Pokemon feeding on the berries. It leaped out. It's not a crab brawler, is it? What is it? Get the hell up! Stop doing this! Is it just me or is that thing freaking giant? My dude, get up. Yo, someone put it out of its misery. It's huge. You can stuff three Pikachus in there. Yo, out of your misery, you go. Goodness. Never look at what's eating berries ever again. Hey, I got a citrus. Can I? There's still more berries. Thanks. If the berry guy would be so pissed at me. I kind of want to see what else is here. Come on. Come on, I know you guys are saying that I should count that berry thing as a static encounter, which means a Pokemon standing there, but it's cool, man. It, I'm, I don't want to bend the rules. With stuff like that in the back of your head, you feel like you're bending the rules. Finally, I'm out of underwater. Welcome back. Guys, I'm, I freaking still see the limping mimic you in my head. Another Jabuka Berry! I'm gonna die before this thing evolves! Because of the mighty Yenna. The mighty... Mister, you keep stealing my exper... Dream Eater? Hey, Mystery. Hey, that's a pretty good move. Oh my god, dude. If only I could... Dude, imagine I could set up a combination. Like if this thing learned like hypnosis. I want to teach it just because it says it does 100 damage, but I can't do it. It also says it recovers health. Yo, I gotta freaking heal up before I find another Mighty Anna. Imagine losing the freaking Onyx before it evolves. Is there really no other trainers left, man? I wish it was just one more trainer. Okay, I'm not in the grass. 
but you're breaking the rules and grabbing me by the foot. I don't even have to train there. I just gotta freaking go and fight where I found the other crap. What else is here? I'm back at Route 3. What is this? Oh, a hone edge! I got a freaking spark of the tall grass in, in freaking Kalos. That was always cool. Why does everything have desolate land? Do you know how dangerous that is? You're gonna get yourself like fire blasted. Look at this. Even with the de- oh, a yard stamp. Oh my god, the hone edge is calling for help. This is why. What is it? What is it? Yo, this is great. It's not gonna work out. This is crazy. What? Dude, the freaking- Yo, I'm gonna love encounters after this. It's it's just like the horde battles in the Alpha Sapphire Extreme Randomizer. Like, horde battles were so cool because you get like a full five Pokemon and you get to pick one. And it makes the Nuzlocke so fun without breaking it. So close, dude. This thing's like the same thing, but you have to work for your encounters instead of just getting five cheap encounters. This is pretty cool. Yo, call for help again. Let me see what else you can do. Here we go. What's next? What's next? A sword. Who's gonna answer the call of a sword? Oh, nothing. That is sad. My dude, someone's gotta come to your rescue. But yeah, guys, this is how weak Shimmy is. He's a level 40. He's got crazy defense. But his attack is so bad, it can't even kill a Hone Edge with, with its move. Like, the Hone Edge is 30 levels under it. Someone answer the sword, man. Someone get Excalibur out of the ground. Freaking Medicham, bro. Not bad at all. Punch to the face, though. Goodness, man. I feel so bad for doing it. How much more experience do you need? Circle throw. Goodness. Oh, oh, God. No. I got scared. Where did I'm like, Onyx, where are you going? Onyx, you're supposed to stay in and get that experience. I'm surprised in this game, Circle Throw doesn't make the wild Pokemon leave. It makes you leave. Here we go. This is the final thing you're gonna call before I'm in a freaking diamond storm, both of you. What is it gonna be? Hey, welcome back, dude. So, you know what, man? Cloud9? How? How are these weather abilities all appearing? You know what, man? They- it's not- Okay, so if you get a Pokemon through a SOS encounter, it can only call one or two different Pokemon. It's not gonna freaking give you a whole new array of Pokemon, which keeps it exactly fair. I like that. But- Shimmy is not leveling up. What's with you guys? You killing the Honage itself? Now the Honage goes down alone. I was trying to let you guys go back together. Honage is like, I brought you here to protect me. Why would you do that? This is it, guys. This Crobat's getting ice punched. Once it goes down, Shimmy's leveling it up. Finally! Level 42, you freaking Jumbo Diamond. Wow! Five defense. I've never seen that. For special, this is like Deoxys' stats. Not learning anything. Please, if this was for nothing, then... Oh my goodness. How did you guys get that much experience too? Yes! Yo! It's actually working! This, I didn't picture this. It's Look, it's got the green background again. I did not picture this. A freaking Crystal Onyx in the evolution screen. Yo, this is sick. What is it gonna be? I'm so hyped. Let's go. Let's go. Go up. It's freaking putting on the metal coat. Come on out as a new man. What is it? Ruby Steelix? That is so cool. It's Ruby. And it's still got the crystal spikes. Bro, I get to keep this? Ruby Steelix. I mean, that's gonna mess with people's OCD because Ruby feels like one half of Sapphire, but Ruby itself is freaking valuable. Yo, it freaking chose a crystal this time. It's a freaking crystal Ruby Steelix. I free. I'm gonna go into Pokemon Refresh. That was so worth it. Let me see this. L Shimmy. Shimmy. Shimmy, Shimmy shines. Rough skin. There's nothing rough. You're the smoothest thing out there. Remember what I said about your face? Look at that, Ruby Steelix. Steel Ice! Okay, the freaking Illuminati Triangle has turned into a Staryu. What the hell is that defense? 
It's level 45! And it has freaking 200 special defense. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 23 attack? My dude! Kingdra has more attack than you! Someone freaking do stack calculations for this Steelix. Because it's it's freaking just as weak as the Onyx. But dude, rough skin. Like it th that's actually a crazy ability for this. Anytime this giant wall gets touched, the opponent gets like iron barbs damage. Yo, I need to go into Pokemon Refresh. Yo, I'm so happy you guys told me about the Metal Coat and using it on Onyx because I myself would not have done that. I didn't think that they'd actually make an evolution for Crystal Onyx. It seemed like its own Pokemon. Like how you can't evolve freaking Ash's Pikachu. But yo, it freaking worked. And it's Ruby. You're singing Sparkling Aria. Yo, let me brush your teeth. Dude. Wow. Like... This is insane! You eat a ruby berry, dude! Oh my goodness, those big bites! Two bite wonder! This is... What if I rub these ice things? Yo, and these are supposed to be diamonds? I still- Whoa, God, it got pissed! I can't rub its diamonds, apparently, God! Yo, this is a highlight! Alright, guys, let's head back, let's put our team together, man! Dude, when we move on, our layout is gonna look so insane! In fact, we're gonna put freaking all of them together right now! We have six Pokemon now, and all of them are great. Even you, Jojo. You know, it's crazy because as to freaking admit to it, when I send Jojo out for the totem battle, my intention is for it to use King Shield and to study what moves it has. And if it has any moves that are going to screw me over, for Jojo to be the one who takes it and falls so that I can protect the freaking Kanga Jr. and the scar that I had. But Jojo itself handled the freaking totem Tapu Bulu, so... Freaking Jojo's freaking earned his respect. Like, I freaking love this guy now. But here you go. Check out that layout, dude. This is insane. We've got Scar, the Fallen Tauri Cat, freaking Kanga Jr., a freaking Crystal Ruby Steelix. What the hell? Well, look at those moves. It doesn't have Stab on Diamond Storm anymore, which sucks. Freaking a Kingdra. Who the hell thought you'd get a Tough Claws Kingdra? You got Rico, who's an adamant Storm Drain Rhydon. And then you got Jojo. Dude, this is the real team put together. Let's see if I even have money to buy that Leaf Stone. I totally do. Jojo, one day. You just gotta get your moves in and then one day you'll make it. Alright guys, that's all time for this episode. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. We put a crazy team together. And in the next episode, we're gonna continue on with the plot. We can see the red flag right there. It's good we fought all the trainers and caught up. But I could also show you guys that, yeah, as much as you train with wild Pokemon, you're never gonna be able to just increase your team's level. Only for a freaking... Uh, Kingdra and Rhydon, so I guess maybe I can train that on my own time though I'd like to show you guys what moves they learn on the way So maybe I'll record myself training them or something like that So I guess I'm gonna have to take a little break here and train the team up for the next episode But yeah, we're gonna be moving on. We're gonna have a full blown out team. and It's gonna be crazy, dude So as always guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace